What's up, guys? I'm your host, Alba Vartanian, and this is The Parlay Today. This weekend in the Premier League, we have a rematch of the Champions League final when Chelsea hosts Manchester City at Stamford Bridge. And for whatever reason, Pep Guardiola and City can't seem to beat Chelsea. Under Thomas Tuchel, the Blues are undefeated against a team from Manchester, winning their last three games. They can make it four straight this Saturday, but more importantly, they'll take one step closer to a Premier League title. They're only two and a half million pounds apart, but Romelu Lukaku has arguably been the better signing this season so far. And that's because he actually solved the problem that Chelsea had, whereas Jack Grealish joined Man City's roster as one of at least five other attacking midfielders. The Belgium looks like the missing piece in Chelsea's title winning puzzle. And that's why we're picking Chelsea to win this one against Pep Guardiola's strikerless Man City side. In front of the home fans at Stamford Bridge and the world-class service coming from the midfield and the flanks, Lukaku will be eager to get on the score sheet. So we're going to take Lukaku to score first at big money odds. But Manchester City will also have their chances and Jack Realis will have plenty of opportunities to score. So we're going to take him to score any time in this fixture as well. So here are my picks. Chelsea to win at plus 162, Lukaku to score first at plus 400, and Jack Realis to score any time at 4-1 to odds. Just a few years ago, the Saints and the Patriots would have been classed as one of the marquee matchups of the season. Unfortunately, those days are gone. With Brady in Tampa and Breeze in retirement, these two teams have fallen in with the rest of the pack. Nonetheless, Vegas is suggesting that this should be a pretty tight, low-scoring game. And our own Luca Rosano thinks the Pats should have more than enough to cover the spread. Now, I know a lot of you were caught drinking that Jameis Winston Kool-Aid after week one. He put up a great performance against the Packers and then struggled mightily against the Panthers. Now he will have to take on Bill Belichick and his defensive schemes. The Patriots defense picked off Zach Wilson four times last week, meaning they will capitalize on any mistake from Winston. The Saints are proving to be a one-trick pony, that pony being Alvin Kamara, who only mustered up five yards on the ground in week two. Yikes. Sorry, fantasy owners. New England should be able to cover the three points at home here against a turnover-prone QB. Here are my picks. Take the Patriots minus three at minus 105. Take under 43 at minus 110. The Toronto Blue Jays will be looking to rebound after a 7-1 loss to the Tampa Bay Rays on Wednesday. Tonight, they enter their final road series of the season against the Twins as favorites, according to the odds makers. And despite dropping a pair to Tampa, Michael Singh expects their bats to get going and to get going early. With just 10 games remaining and the Jays just half a game back of the AL wildcard, Toronto can't afford to leave anything else on the table, especially against a team like the Twins who are just 67 and 85 this season. So look for Marcus Simeon, who has 41 home runs this season, the most ever by Blue Jays second baseman, by the way, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. to get on twin starter Michael Pineda early and often. In fact, Toronto leads the MLB in runs scored in the third inning, so we'll see if that trend will continue. And Toronto will also be sending starter Steven Matz to the mound, and he hasn't lost the game since August the 10th. Here are my picks. Take the Jays to lead after the third inning at plus 120 and take Steven Matz to record the win at plus 120. I'm Albert Vertanian and that's it for the parlay today. Don't forget to follow us at the parlay on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok and come pay us a visit at theparlay.com.